Hi everyone and welcome to codingzest.com. Guys, in this Flutter tutorial, I will show you how you can implement a snake bar in your Flutter application. So basically, a snake bar is a short type of message which we uh, can display to the user to uh, inform the user about some uh, process or some failure in our application. So let's start our tutorial. Open up your Android Studio and create a new Flutter project. Here I will uh, create a stateless widget this widget and I will name it my app and uh, I will remove this container and I will return material app inside this material app I will add a home so home will be a scaffold and inside this scaffold we uh, will add an app bar and app bar and the app bar will have a title and we will use the text widget okay and this will be snake bar and we will add a body here and the body will be snake bar snake bar page okay and uh, i will create another status widget of this snake bar page okay so stateless widget okay st stateless okay uh, i need to do it outside of this widget so stateless widget and i will name it snake bar page Hit enter and here we will return center so we will add a button here and uh, the, bun the button will be in the center of screen so here the child will be a material button material button and I will add a text this button text and the text will be no, show snake bar okay I will add a color to this button and the color will be colors dot blue and we will also change the text color so text color and we will use the colors class colors dot white okay and now we will add on press here so when we press this button so we will show a snake bar on this on press button and I will uh, pass a method here or function here of show snake bar and I will pass the context as a parameter and now we need to create this function over here so type void and let me zoom it void and show snake bar okay and here we will pass build context as a parameter here and inside this function we will show the snake bar to the user so uh, we need to create a variable so final final snake bar is equal to uh, we will use the snake bar widget here snake bar okay and uh, as you can see here we have a content here so the content will be a message so it will be a string message like this hi I am snake bar you can pass any message you want to show to the user uh, here okay so I will just close this and I need to add okay so we need to uh, add a text widget here we we cannot add directly a string so I will just simply cut it from here and I will use a text widget here and inside this oh sorry inside this text widget I will pass this message okay so now below here we need to use the scaffold um, scaffold messenger so scaffold messenger dot off and we will pass this context here okay if I press control and click on this so uh, this context is uh, coming from here 
this is the parameter okay and after this uh, we will uh, show the snake bar so just simply type show snake bar and we will pass our snake bar variable here okay so we can uh, also pass this one uh, here in this uh, show snake bar method but this is uh, good way to store this snake bar in a variable okay so now uh, i will run this application okay guys as you can see here uh, we have a button here uh, when we click on this so if you notice here here we have a snake bar and it says hi i'm a snake bar okay so you can pass uh, any message you want to show to the user in this uh, content uh, but you will have to use the text widget okay so if i show you it again uh, if you click on this button so a snake bar appears in the uh, bottom of our screen okay so that's it for this video guys and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel and the notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming videos